are full of doubt. And there is Muslim youth leaving Islam. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Your child is about to become apostate. Your child is about to become apostate. In America, this is the last thing, 23% are becoming apostates of Muslims, American born That's Muslims. Right. Yeah. Well, so one of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18 who have openly declared their apostasy to me. Do you know how many Muslims became atheists today? Polls conducted in the Muslim world reveal that up to 5% of Muslims in some of the most conservative Muslim countries in the world are closet atheists. Addressing their parents, their family, and telling them, I don't believe in Allah. I don't believe. Okay, what about now? Sorry, guys. <laughs> There's no sound. <laughs> okay, let us start over. <laughs> Researchers show that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. Our youth are full of doubt. And there is Muslim youth leaving Islam. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Child is about to become apostate. Your child is about to become apostate. In America, this is the last thing, 23% are becoming apostates of Muslims, American born That's Muslims. Right. Yeah. Well, so one of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18 who have openly declared their apostasy to me. Do you know how many Muslims became atheists today? Polls conducted in the Muslim world reveal that up to 5% of Muslims in some of the most conservative Muslim countries in the world are closet atheists. Addressing their parents, their family, and telling them, I don't believe in Allah. Stop. Please don't say that. The Muslims addressing their family, saying to them, we do not believe in Allah, and there is a cat, she will not walk in the Quran? How in the world this thing happened? The cat, she refused to walk in the Quran, and the Muslims, they walk away from the Quran? Are you kidding me? Those Muslims are liars. Sister Mimi, she said 23% of Muslims in America live in Islam. But yet, he forgot to tell you the truth that 100% of the cats of America, they believe in Allah. Not a single cat, she left the faith of Allah. And these days, we have a series of programs in YouTube. Everybody making reaction for the cat of Allah. Look, this girl, she said she is a Catholic. She, actually, she look, look how Catholic she is. I mean, she have paint in her face, in her eyes. I don't know what she is hanging in her eyelashes. But she have a reaction, Catholic react to the cat, which not, would not walk in the Quran, experiment. 
how we can deny the truth how so you liars those muslims they say to us that muslims are leaving allah and in the same time we have a clear proof and a clear evidence that even a catholic cat i don't know this cat is a catholic or not and I, 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 don't, I, mean, I don't mean the cat, I mean this girl here, she is the cat we are talking about for now. <laughs> Look, all of them they are Catholic, those who they are reacting for the cat. Look, this guy is a Catholic too. This is how they can get the click, you know, this, this naive. They knew that those Mohammedan, they are crazy. Just said him, I am a Catholic. I'm so glad this guy, he did not say he is the Pope. Actually, he looked like the Pope. Look at his hair. This is how the Pope, he do his hair. A Catholic react to cat will not walk in the Quran. 2.5 million. How much money he made from this video? Brother. Uh. <laughs> Emotional Christian. Look, look at this. Emotional Christian react to cat will not walk in the Quran. This guy is emotional and he is a Christian. Not only Christian alone, listen, listen carefully. There's a huge difference between Christian alone and emotional Christian. Oh yeah, there's a huge difference. Because not all Christians are emotional. But this guy, he is very emotional and he decided to get some click in YouTube. So he decided to be emotional and the cat who don't walk in the Quran. Like how? Look, look at the thumb, how? A cat not walking on the Quran. Oh, this guy, I know him. Uh, this guy, once he, he uh, our friend here, I don't know if you know him. This guy, he is, uh, once he climbed uh, the, a billboard, you know the billboard? And he wrote in the billboard, who dare to debate the Christian prince? <laughs> He's a good guy. Oh, he have a video about the cat and the Quran too. What his, what his, uh, what his video saying? And look, you know, nobody want to watch his video because his, he, he don't have emotional react. If he have emotional react and he open his mouth and he say the Quran is amazing, then everybody will click at his video. I want to see his video. Hold on. What happened in your uh, Quran experiment, brother? So he got the Quran in his house. And, uh, you know, he uh, tried it with the cat. I never saw this video before. So I, I hope I will not be disappointed. I don't know. Let us see. Let us move to the... Okay, let us see what he will say. Since... Since 1990, when I was taking a... Uh, a spiritual course in counseling yeah. yeah he's talking about when he got this okay let's go to the cat we want to see the cat my friend people can watch your video later i want to see the cat experiment uh do you have a cat in the experiment here or just a quran in your hand let me see i want to move okay i think he have a cat he have a cat look like he have one maybe let us see here we go so now he will put the quran in the floor and brothers and sisters, guess what? And see, I'll see if he. Now we, need, now we need to find the cat. Oh, come on, find the cat. Here we go. Where is the cat? We got the Quran. We got the food. The cat is not there. The cat. She is weak. She is late for the salah. I'm gonna see if the kitty walks on the Quran. Make a video. Mew. Me. Yeah, Muslims don't think a uh, cat will walk on the Quran. So, we'll see if the kitty walks on the Quran. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. See, so he put the food for oh, the cat put, and the I cat walking by herself. I put it down and we'll see if the kitty... He is following the cat. Uh, the walk, the cat is walking with the free I don't want to I don't want to go that far. Oh, they don't, Muslim, don't believe in free yeah. will. Hold on, what free will? Let's see if the kitty will do it's that. It's Allah who now guiding the cat to go there. 
So now the cat is going to the kitchen. Like, what the heck? Where are you going? This guy's his house is so big. She did not step in the Quran. Look, 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 look. He's the cat. On the, Korean. the cat, she is not stepping in the Quran. He's, he's walking around it. She is, he is, the cat is walking oh around the Quran. <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, brother! This cat she is inspired well, what by. What do you Allah. know? I guess I'll uh, join ISIS and start uh, raping and sawing off heads. But <laughs> so you know, this is was uh, this is uh, really a joke, and this is funny, and this is remind me actually of the story of. Uh, uh, when Noah want to go in the ship and then uh, he found that there is a mice and then Allah he, uh, he made uh, the lion sneeze and then the cat came from his mouth so as you see uh, here this is the different guy he is making a video this guy is not agreeing that the cat cannot walk in the Quran he is saying no uh, let us see what he is saying here Today I bring to you an experiment. I mean, it looked like laboratory study now. This is scientific study. <laughs> Christian versus Muslims. Videos like this. <laughs> now, come on, my friend. The cat, don't stop in the crawl. The cat, don't step. See, this woman, she is trying to make the cat walk in the Quran. The cat, she is resisting. The cat, and then now she is resisting. She don't understand what's happening. She doesn't know that now she became a part of a spiritual war. <laughs> oh, the cat stepped on the Quran. Like, what the heck? Why you do that? Stop moving the camera, my friend. No, don't step on the Quran. Why the cat she did that? Signore. With the food on the Quran. <laughs> he didn't know how to deal with the cat. <laughs> with the food in the Quran. On the Quran. On the Quran. Okay. Well, the cat she see the book as an object. She step in the Quran, like, what the heck? Don't do that. This was a trick. This is not honest. This is not honest. You tricked the Muslim cat, and you made the cat walk in the Quran, but it wasn't intentional. All of us, we knew that this was not intentional. And now I will explain to you what is the secret behind the video David Wood, he did, and how he made the cat walk in the Quran. There's things this guy did not tell you, but I, you know, I, as you know, I have Hi, connection. Well, you might notice the background here. I'm at my friend's house and he has a cat. Why am I recording another cat video? Well, I recorded a video responding to a disturbingly common Muslim argument claiming that the Quran must be miraculous and from God because a cat will not walk on it. So I tested that over and over again. And okay, stop, stop. First of all, you need to provide us a document that this is a real living cat. She is not an automatic uh, robot or like a mechanic or something. Do you have any proof that the cat you are going to use in your experiment is a real cat? He don't. He doesn't have any. See, brothers and sisters, the cat he used this, this experiment is not a real cat. This is a counterf counterfeit cat made in China. And all of us, we knew that China is against Islam. So this guy, he went to the Chinese market. He bought a Chinese counterfeit cat, looked like the Muslim cat. But she is not a Muslim cat. And she is not even a real cat. 
she is a faker and i will prove to you in the details here how we can prove that this is a fake cat go and it took me on average about half a second to two seconds to get a cat to walk see there is no way the cat she will step in the quran in a half a second even joe biden he did not forget his name that fast it took him two minutes how in the world you made the cat walk in the quran in two seconds you tell me i mean who in the world is going to believe that I mean, the lie is so big. Come on, woke up people. This guy is not telling the truth. There's no way the cat will walk up and wake on the Quran in two seconds. I will believe him if he said four seconds or five seconds. But two seconds, it's impossible for two reasons. First, the cat, she don't walk in such a way. I mean, cat, they are fast, yes. And they are, you know, they jump like very massive uh, height, yeah. But when it's come to food, they don't jump to the food that fast unless they are chasing a mice. Walk on the Quran each time. You're kidding. Oh my goodness. Look at those Qurans. But there are people. Hey, here we go. First of all, this guy, he used a Quran, which is not Arabic Quran, which is not a true Quran. Bingo. Get you busted. People who want to defend this absurd claim. So they replied in hundreds of comments that the texts I was using weren't Qurans. Hold on, we need to stop here. These are translated though not original Quran <laughs> you see how they got him busted did you see did you see this is translated Quran what's wrong with you you think you can fool us with this huh do you think really we are a bunch of fool do you think we cannot see this is not even a Quran so it is what it was a Mickey Mouse book magazine so this David Wood, he did not bring a real Quran. And then he claimed that he's a Chinese cat, which is coming from Taiwan 1 1. By the way, why they call her Taiwan? I mean, is she Thai? Is she Thai or Wan? Thai is Thailand. What one have to do with it? Anyway, this is a different story. We can discuss this deep uh, word, uh, word like later. You know, we can do a, some kind, kind of an analysis, anal anal la, 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 whatever, you know. So this is not even the Quran. This is not even a Quran. <laughs> they got you busted. <laughs> look at this, look, look, look. All of them, they are saying that. <laughs> this is English Quran. This is not a Quran, this is translation Quran. This is Arabic dictionary, this is not even Quran. Notice here how the Muslims are so excited. This is not real Quran. We got you busted. And now David Wood, he went home and said to himself what I did. What I did to myself. This is English Quran. I never thought about this. So now David Wood is going to try something else. <laughs> try. And I have right here the text I was using. Um, here we have a variety of Qurans, which they say weren't Qurans, they were dictionaries. So I heard dictionaries, they were phone books, they were random Arabic books, but they weren't Qurans. Mm. Oddly enough, those same people would complain that I set the Qurans on the floor. Odd complaint if they're not really Qurans. But uh, let's go ahead and flip through some of these books to see what they actually are. Notice that it says the Quran. That's odd. First of all, if the book outside says the Quran, it doesn't mean it is Quran. 
I will give you an example. The Quran says, confirming what is between their hand. The Muslim, they say, it says is, it mean was. So listen, this is was the Quran. This is not is the Quran. Did you get it? I mean, do we need to get you busted? This is was the Quran. This is not is the Quran. Was, was. So it's not Quran no more. Considering it's just a dictionary, you can zoom in on this and see it in the original video. Arabic text with corresponding English meanings. And what you have here is you have the English translation over here and you have the I got you again. The cat she was not stepping on the Arabic Quran. She was stepping in the English side. Hello. <laughs> now we knew how he made the cat step. The cat she look. Okay, this is English. This can't be the Quran. So she step on the English. She did not step in the Arabic. Arabic. This is the full Arabic text mm. of the Quran. You have the entire Quran from Surah 1 all the way to Surah 114. The entire Arabic text of the Quran. Here we also have the Quran. We have the full Arabic text and English translation, some notes and so on. So, Arabic text of the Quran, Arabic text of the Quran, Arabic text of the Quran. This is the full Arabic text of the Quran. Here we have the Noble Quran, odd title for a book that's simply a dictionary. Once again, we have the English text and we have the Arabic text, the full Arabic text of the Quran. And yet, for some reason, it's not a Quran, even though it contains the full Arabic text of the Quran. Full Arabic text of the Quran. Lots of English translation, lots of notes. You have introductions, but you also have the full Arabic text of the Quran. And yet, we're told that this isn't the Quran. So basically, you have two different kinds of claims. You have one, people saying that these are just dictionaries or, or some other random text. I hope you see at least that these are uh, Qurans here. Uh, but then we have another claim, which is that if any translation is added, it's no longer the Quran. So if you have the full Arabic text of the Quran and you add a word of translation, suddenly you have just destroyed the Quran. It's no longer the Quran. Now, why is that odd? Well, the word Quran means recitation, right? It's something to be recited. You write it down in the text because that's the text that is to be recited. So if you have the text in Arabic that's to be recited, then you've got the Quran. But according to our friends out there, it's not the Quran if it has an English translation beside it. So notice, if you were to say that you have the entire Arabic text of the Quran memorized, if you went to classes and memorized the entire text of the Quran, if you know the translation for any one of those verses, you don't have the Quran memorized because you've also got another language in your mind. See how silly this is? Okay, now notice, notice how David Wood, now he is being disrespectful to the yellow pages of Muhammad. And do you see how he moved his hand next to his head? Why you are you doing that? Why? You see? He is being disrespectful. Anyway, show us the experiment, okay? The Quran memorized because you've also got see how he moved his hand? Look. in your mind. See how silly this is? No, it's but not silly. I aim to please, my friends, and so we're going to put this to yet another test. Our friends say that these Qurans are not real Qurans because they're not just in Arabic. If they were only in Arabic, then we could actually have ourselves a little test. Well, we're going to go ahead and have a little test here. I have a can of cat food. Remember, that was the original claim. The original claim is that a cat... And what do you want to do? If any of you would like to help later, I will ask you to help us to make some videos, not only about cats. If you have a dog, if you have a chimpanzee, if you have a goat. I mean, the hadith in Arabic, it says that, that the goat ate the Quran. Not only they walk in it, they ate it. So I don't really understand the stupidity of this thing. Isn't you Muslim who tell us that the goat, she ate the chapters in the Quran. She ate it. Not only she walk in it. Which means now the Quran went inside the mouth of the goat. Now the Quran, after a few hours, is in the stomach in the goat. Now after a few hours, the Quran is coming from the anus of the goat. 
from where from the anus so the cat she will not walk in the quran the goat she will eat the quran and then the goat will poop the quran i will tell you something this goat she must be a kuffar kafir goat obviously but the funny she was grown in the house of the prophet and she she hear quran and lecture from muhammad every day i mean how in the world this goat who should live in the house of Muhammad. She hear the prophet reciting Quran every day. She did not become a Muslim. I thought about this and I come to a conclusion. I said to myself, maybe because you are thinking in a Christian way, but if you think as a Muslim, you will come with different conclusion. This goat, she ate the Quran because she loved the Quran. How the goat, and she is a goat, she can express her love to Allah. You tell me, she is a goat. What she will do exactly? She decided to eat the Quran. Ask yourself, do you eat something if it's not yummy? The answer, no. So this goat, she was eating the Quran, enjoying the meaning and the taste and the interpretation in her stomach. Like, you know, she was like happy, you know, like the most blessing meal ever after she ate the Quran. The kuffar, they make fun of such an action because they hate the Quran, but the goat, she did it as an act of love. How many of you one day, you have a fight with your wife and she did bite you? Do you think she did bite you because she want to eat you, really? No. She did bite you because she love you. I don't know what kind of women you are married from, she will bite, but <laughs> this is a different topic. But <laughs> show the hadith number. My friend, I have even the goat number. What number you want? Here we go. She is her, the goat name is Sunan Ibn Majah. This is her name, Sunan. And her father is Majah. And she is born in 1944. Okay? We have the address, we have the details, we have the phone number. What are you talking about? We are Arab, we are connected with all the goats. You people who live in the East and the West, you do not understand the first goat, she is an Arabian. I am an Arabian. Mimi Hijab is Arabian. Oh, he's an Egyptian, forget. So we have a special connection with those goats. So this goat, she did not walk in the Quran only. She stepped in the Quran, she flipped the pages of the Quran, and she did not eat all the Quran, she ate only certain chapters. Why? Think about it. Breastfeeding for adult. How many adults this goat she fed every day? Think about it, think about it. So she was jealous. How in the world now she have a competition? She is a goat, she have seven breasts, seven nipples. And now Muhammad, he made, a chapter said by Allah that a Muslim woman, she can give her a breast to an adult and he can suckle it directly. The goat, she got jealous. She said, if women, they start doing this, what I will do for a living? What is my future as a goat? The goat, she said. I feel for this goat. And that's why I'm thinking, maybe she was trying to destroy those verses so nobody do compete with the goat in their breastfeeding business. Anyway, we go back to the experiment. And later I have a request about experiment. Let us see what this guy, David Wood, his name is David Wood, right? Hmm. Yeah, right. We know where you got your cat from. 
I bet you he got, first of all, how we know that the cat you got there, you did not too much tr do training. We know that these days you can teach bits stuff. How we knew that he did not do special training or he sent the cat to the Marines. The drill sergeant will scream at the cat and he will scare the hell of her and she will step at anything. Anyone joined the army before? The first day you joined the army, a guy wearing the hat, they call him the drill sergeant. He come and he like he is like one centimeter far away from your nose and he scream at your face like a monkey. <laughs> so hey, David, okay, tell us what happened, what happened, go ahead. Cat will not walk on a Quran, step on a Quran for food. We're going to test it. Will a cat step on the Quran to get to some food? Let's test it with some Arabic text. So we have here a variety of Arabic Qurans. And we have some delicious... You see, you, know, you need to notice something. If you put something in the floor in front of the cat, the cat she will avoid stepping on it. But if you put, if you put like the same book, but money book, like, you know, take a good size, then the cat she have no choice except to walk. You know what I mean? So, she might avoid stepping in a book, any book. Because why she want to step? It's an object in her way. But if there is no more space to walk with avoiding going over this object, she will step in the object. And now David Wood, he have, I think two Quran open, maybe, or more, I don't know. And if he put the food, for sure the cat, she will step on it easy. This cat food. Here we go. This cat is already stepping. Actually, she didn't, he did not open the food yet. The cat is stepping. <laughs> I mean, come on, this is embarrassment. The, the cat, she stepped even without the food. The guy did not open the food yet. What the heck? Variety of Arabic Qurans. And we have some delicious cat food. Oh boy. This cat is already stepping on. She stepped on Allah. Hey, she... look, where's that cat stepping? Where's the cat stepping? What is that? This is not Arabic Quran. Okay, hold on. Very First of all, this is not Arabic Quran. This is uh, Arabic uh, Quran. This is not Arabic Quran. Okay? And secondly, how we knew that this foot there is for the same cat there? Do you have fingerprint? What is the proof that this is not a toy? Maybe you are moving it by hand now, huh? How we know? Do you have fingerprint? What is the evidence? What is the evidence? Maybe this is not a living cat. Maybe it's a, like, a, you know, those they put them for kids, like, a, a, you know, they put inside them cotton and etc. <laughs> you know, you cannot fool us. This is not, this is not a real cat. Real cat, she will never do that. For two reasons. Number one, she is cat. Secondly, she is real. That's why I said real cat. Disturbed at how quickly that cat stepped on the Quran and it's currently stepping on multiple Qurans. What's wrong with this? First cat? of all, this is impossible. Look, the first lie, we, we let it go. She stepped in one Quran and now you are saying she is stepping in multiple Quran. How she can do that? Do you think she have 44 legs? All cats in the world, they have one foot, which means if she step, she will step only in one Quran. So how she can step on the Quran, multiple Quran, if she have one foot? Let us count the feet numbers of this cat together, just to get him busted. Look with me. Do you see it? It is only one foot. She have one foot. Those cats are very well known in America. They are called the Bigfoot guy. Like, you know, the guy look in his window, he say, I saw the Bigfoot. That is the cat we are talking about. They have only one foot. So when he said that this cat, she stepped in multiple Quran, and all of us, we knew that all cats, especially in America, they have only one foot. For sure, they have their tail too. But not all of them, you know? Uh, once a guy, he said to me, your tail light is not working. 
I thought he's insulting me. My tail light. Don't say that to a Middle Eastern guy. My, my what? Your tail light is not working. My... I don't have a tail. What the heck with those Americans? Their English is very funny, by the way. Your tail light is not working. Anyway, so this is a catch. You have one foot, and even in the video, in his video, is so clear. How in the world you do that, man? I mean, please, some respect. Monopolation. Actually, I believe this guy, he came from a city, it's called Monopoly, as I heard, which is in Taiwan, Chicago. Uh, Barbarados, something like that. What's this book? You tell me what this book this is. This is not Quran. Stop. What? It says there, the speech of a President Joe Biden. That's why nobody understands what he's saying. Are you trying to fool us? If I zoom here, I speak Arabic very well. It says, the presidential speech of a President Joe Biden, and here the signature, you know the thing. Look, look, let, let, let me show you. I mean, come on. Look, it says here, you know. Huh? You, this is you. And this is no. And this is the thing. It's clear. So this guy, he got a book of Joe Biden, which he read his speeches from, trying to convince us that this is the Quran. But all of us, we knew that this is the book of Joe Biden, where he was quoting Prophet Muhammad from. If you, if you say something you don't like, and it's wrong, you change it by your a hand. Joe Biden, he, he quoted from his book. Augustine, I saw, I saw your text, my friend. Take it easy, take it easy. So, my friends, I think now we debunk those Christians and they are lying to you and cats for sure. They will never walk in the Quran for many reasons. Number one, those are all cats are believers of Allah. They are decent. The only thing really I'm upset from the cat, as long as they are Muslims, why the cat she left up her tail showing her anus? Especially female cats. I mean, where the dignity? Should she wear burqa as long as she is a believer? This cat, he will, she will not walk in the Quran, but she put her tail up showing her anus. You know when the Muhammadan, they say to us, the cat will not step in the Quran. What does that mean? She's a Muslim, right? She's a Muslim cat. She will never do that. A Muslim cat, she will never do that. I want to know why this cat, she is not wearing hijab or burqa, at least covering her ass. You see the cat walk, you know, the cat walking in the street and her tail is coming up and you see her anus. What a shame. Somebody speak speak to your sister, my friend. That's an, it's not a good behavior. At least make her wear a bikini. Why this cat is not being conservative, Muslim? What is it? Ah, hold on. The cat she do muta every day. That is something. Because one comment I see over and over again is, just because a book's in Arabic doesn't make it the Quran. Well, that's true, but we're not talking about any book that happens to be written in Arabic. We're talking about what this book is. What is this book? This is not Quran. What is it? This, okay, this is not Quran. Stop playing games. I see here it says, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. We ate hummus, I mean. See, it is not the same. How in the world the word hummus is there? And this is why actually you are in the kitchen because you got the book of recipe how to eat hummus. And now you are claiming that this is Quran. This is hummus book. The food is all around you. The sink is behind you. You are in the middle of the kitchen and you are trying to convince us that this is the book of God. Do you think we are blind? What's wrong with you? Hold on, I have a call. Prince and Prince. First of all, I would like to thank you for getting me busted. Zachary Naik, you like what I did? Exactly. First of all, he's a liar. There is no way they did the Quran. Zachary Naik, do you have a cat? 
Mr. Fred, I used to have a cat, but actually my cat ran away. Why she ran away? Because my neighbor, he was molesting her. He molested the cat. He's very filthy. Anyway, Mr. Fred, no, Zach and Nick, what do you mean your neighbor is molesting the cat? Even cats, they don't, they are not safe these days. Chris and Fred, this is our topic. First of all, this guy is lying and in hand is his Quran. Is Zach and Nick, do you speak Arabic? I don't speak Arabic. So how do you know this is Quran or not? First of all, my art can tell me your heart why you are pointing your hand to your right side of your chest i thought the heart is in the left side oh great friend i forgot to tell you that in the quran it said that the man have two hearts what the heck he have what two two heart great friend i think you are ignorant and i think now it's time for me to teach you something new what the heck in the Quran, the man he have two heart. Yes, the Quran say that the man. <laughs> uh, can like the Quran says Allah did not make for the man two heart, <laughs> not, not two heart. <laughs> I think Zakir Naik, he got his version of the Quran from the cat. <laughs> Allah has not made for any man two hearts. <laughs> By the way, the Muslims, they make a miracle about it. Maybe later we will talk about this one. Let us go, <laughs> Let us go back to, to our experiment. Uh, very disappointing. Unbelievable. If we flip through this book, what is it? Is this Fifty Shades of Grey? What? Is it Huckleberry Finn? What is it? Is it The Adventures of Tom Sawyer? What is this book? Here we go again. How about food that's not fancy at all? Uh, what first of all, this cat, look, look what he did. I bet you this cat she did not eat for the last century. He made her hungry. I should we should report him to the to the human rights department. Because you know in America, if you are a cat, you're you know you are considered as a human. If you are a Republican, you are not. <laughs> According to Joe Biden. <laughs> So we know that, right? You made this cat not to eat for a century, and now you are putting the food in the front of the cat? Who can fool who? Who? Come on. By the way, why the cat she is not saying meow? Usually when they are so hungry, they scream and they say meow, meow, meow. By the way, when they say meow three times, they are saying shahada. You know? She said, I bear witness three times that I am hungry. What about regular dry cat food? Regular dry cat food. She is not no. stepping. She is not stepping. No, don't, 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 don't. Are you willing to walk ah, on the Quran? Come on. The cat is walking right on the Quran. Okay, first of all, do you see how he moved the dish in his hand? He was shaking it. He habatatized. He, he have what, what? He habta, 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 hold on, let me search go. You know, my English is very good. He Okay, forget about this word. Anyway, you, you know, you know the thing. You know the thing. I think it's clear. You know. So he start moving the dish in his hand. Look how he shake it. Look how he shake it. And that would drive anyone crazy. I mean, come on. If I do that to you as a human and I shake the dish in the front of you, I will have a it you, and then you will walk in anything. Hello. Yeah, look how he first of all why the dish is yellow hmm? because you know that the sketchy is a member of hezbollah and she like yellow so he used the yellow because now she is not really walking for the food she is supporting the flag of hezbollah we know the trick this is why our video here is analyze analyzing i mean i don't know what to do with my english 
and uh, analyze. I mean, you know the thing. You, you, you know the thing. Regular dry cat food. Come on. Look what Come he on. said. He lied. He said this is regular. This is regular. What is the proof? What is the proof that this is not an expensive cat food? Hmm? How we will know that this is a regular cat food? And what do you mean by regular cat food? So what this guy he did, he went to the store and he bought the most expensive fancy food for cat. He asked the cat, what is your dream to eat? The cat, she said for sure in her language, he can like show her pictures, you know, and she will point her nose or etc. or her foot at the picture. So he showed her uh, like um, the man, the man, uh, the the menu, yeah, the menu. So he showed her the menu of the most expensive food, and then he went to the store and he bought the most expensive food. He brought it to the cat who is really poor from a poor family. First of all, let me introduce to you this uh, this poor this is this, this, this is a cat. She is from a poor family. This is what the Muslim they say that Christians they make Muslim convert to Islam by giving them food. The poor, you know. So this guy. Allah knows best, and he is the proof and the witness for what I'm saying. Uh, he got this uh, cat from a poor family. She is suffering from hunger. Her parents, they are not feeding her. And actually, I heard that her father was doing child abuse. And his name is Harun. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so this is from a poor family cat. And, uh, you know, and this guy is abusing, you know, this uh, uh, cat by uh, feeding her, uh, like, you know, he's like, you know, okay, if you do those tricks, I will, I will, I will feed you. <laughs> yeah, okay. Are you willing to walk on that Quran? No, she is not willing. That cat is walking right on the Quran. There's no proof. Wasn't that the claim? No. Hang on, hang on, hang on. See, he just told the cat, hang on. He just told the cat. Did you, did you see what I'm telling you? Did you hear him just saying, hang on? Who is, who is in the room? Him and the cat. And he just said, hang on to the cat. So he's asking the cat to stand up there. This is a cat. She listened to him. She understand what he's saying. She speak English. And this is David Wood. He is very well known that he can speak to many animals. Why? Because he went and he joined the school of Solomon. In case you do not know, Solomon, Allah, he sent him to learn language of animals. He taught him the language of the birds. And then, uh, when Solomon, uh, he learned the language of the birds, uh, in his way, he heard the ant talking. Uh, so, don't be surprised that David would, he went and he learned the language of the birds from Prophet Solomon, Peace be upon him, hmm? as you see here, that he says, well, and, and Allah is talking. And, so they, and Solomon inherited the knowledge of Dawood. I never heard of somebody inherit knowledge. You know what? I was born with it. I think so. I think I was not born. Yeah. Yeah. My mom, she told me like when, she, when the woman she gave, like uh, when she was giving birth to me, the woman she was helping, I took the ring of her hand. I think and I, I inherited that from Prophet Muhammad, how to steal rings. <laughs> like what he did to the ring of the Jew. The woman, she went to grab me, she would take her hand out and oops, the ring is gone. Later they found it in my finger. <laughs> Don't ask why. Anyway, so brother Solomon, he inherited the knowledge of David. He said, oh mankind, Solomon, he don't talk to people. He talk all mankind, all mankind. Because all mankind in front of him. Yeah, all of them, they are in front of him. So, all mankind, we have taught the language of the birds. We have been taught the language. Look at this. So here we learn that it is possible to learn the language of birds and cats and mice and uh, uh, whatever. Obviously, this uh, uh, David uh, uh, Wood thing, you know, you know the thing. 
We saw in his video many times how many books he had behind him in the shelves. And this is all of them. He was training himself how to learn the language of the cats, starting from the letter Meow. So Prophet Solomon, he learned the bird's language, and later, two minutes after, he is speaking to the ant. How? Oh, don't ask me. <laughs> how in the world this guy, he learned the language of the birds, and then he understand the ant? I think he went to the long, longer classroom. Are you sure Muhammad, he, he, ah, Muhammad, he think ants are birds. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So now we knew how this guy, he earned his knowledge to communicate with Mrs. Cat. He cannot fool us. I hope Muslims will download this video and will share it in your channel so we can debunk this guy, which is not really a true. There is no way the cat, she is doing that. This is a Chinese cat made in Taiwan. She's a counterfeit. She's not a real cat. And there is a, like a, a remote control and a battery inside and software program, you know, like walk, stop. This is why, you, did you hear him saying, hang on, hang on. This is part of the command, like Alexa, you know, Alexa. This cat, she don't have Alexa program. She have hang on. Listen carefully. Our dry cat food. Come on. Come on. Are you willing to walk on that Quran? Hmm. That cat is that walking say? right on the Quran. Hang on. Wasn't that the claim? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ah, we got you. <laughs> hang on, hang on. And he said that three times. It's like freeze, you know, like if there is an option, like you freeze in the image. We know those tricks. You think those American white people, they can fool us, Arab people? Do you think really they can do that to us? We are the first two people who went to the moon. Prophet Muhammad, the first man he went to the moon. Uh, brother, he did not go to the moon, he go to heaven. Shut up. He went to the moon, like, and then from there he stepped to the heaven. Just let it go. Okay, so now, you know, I think the story is, uh, we know we got him busted, and we know that this is his line. Because people also said that because I had more than one Quran there, that somehow disturbs the Quran. Even the rag is Quran. I mean, just put the rag alone is enough. The, the, the rag you have, the floor is Quran. <laughs> Which means even if you don't have the Quran there, you have a Quran. The whole rag is a Quran. <laughs> Did yes. you hear? He just said to the cat, come here. He knew, he speak the language, come here. Did we heard that. She came, he said, come here, she came. <laughs> cat is walking all over that Quran. That was the exact challenge, ladies and gentlemen. The exact challenge was whether a cat would walk on a Quran. We did that with multiple Qurans, and now we have... The one is recorded with the video. He is not really good in recording. Shouldn't you post at the cat? Why are you posting at David Wood? I mean, is he the cat? I want to know who is holding the camera. You should focus with the camera on the cat and the Quran, because this is the topic. Why you are focusing in David Wood? <laughs> Show the cat, buddy. <laughs> this cat standing on a Quran for food, but... but... Weren't we told that that's what a cat would never do? <laughs> nice, delicious, dry food for you. Hey, oh, what are you doing? Walk. What are you doing? Stepping on the Quran. What kind of monster would step on a Quran? Because I've heard <laughs> from thousands of Muslims that a cat will never step on the Quran. And you, you know what the, you know what the accusation here again will be? That I've simply put a Quran cover on a book that isn't actually the Quran. So, once again, what is this? Is it a phone book? Is it a Bible? Is it the works of Shakespeare? Is this Romeo and Juliet that I'm flipping through? What is it? Those of you who are honest, be honest about what this is. You've told me a cat will not walk on it. <coughs> what is it all the way through? Is this a phone book at any point? Is this some other book at any point? 
What is this book? This cat is a savage. What kind of savage are you? What kind of savage, untamed beast would be trampling all over multiple Arabic Qurans? And, oh, we know what the claim is, don't we, cat? We know what the claim is. These aren't really Qurans, are they? No. No, these aren't really Qurans. These aren't really Qurans. I'm just making it up. These are phone books, ladies and gentlemen. Phone books. This cat is not human. It feels no pain. It can't be reasoned with. There is no... Look at this. Do you notice something really fishy about the tail of this cat? Look how she is moving her tail. What this guy he did, he installed windshield under the tail of the cat so she will walk her tail in such a way. Watch carefully. No, these aren't really Qurans. These aren't really Qurans. I'm just making it up. These are phone books, ladies and gentlemen. Phone books. <clears throat> this cat is not human. It feels no pain. See, look. It can't look. be reasoned with. There is no incentive known to human beings that will convince a cat to walk or step on the Quran. Nothing will do it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing will do it. So. <laughs> There's one here of you. He asked me to play a video. Uh, <laughs> This is the dog not only walking in the Quran, he's peeing in the Quran. <laughs> he was trying to make him walk in the Quran. <laughs> oh, what an experiment. This is not a good experiment. What are you doing? The dog is all over the the, the dog is all over the Quran. Unbelievable. Anyway, <laughs> you know, Muslims, because of your experiment, now everybody, he will do this experiment. It's not an insult. So you cannot even say they are insulting, they are being rude. It is you who come with this. So now, anyone, he have a cat, he have a dog, he have a monkey, he have a goat. Let us make an experiment. Can the Quran, can the goat eat the Quran? Who, who have goats in his house? You can put the Quran, just leave it in the floor, you know? And record what the goat, don't ask the goat to do anything. Record what the goat will do. Who wanna do that? I don't have goats, sadly. You know, I wish I have a goat. You know, we, we are we quit our career with the goats long time ago <laughs> for for security reason. <laughs> so, if you have a goat and you don't want anyone, like you know, you don't want to pause the video, you can send it to me in a private link. You know, a YouTube private link, and uh, just don't like don't show yourself. You don't, but just. We are not interested in you anyway. We are interested in the goat, what she would do with Quran. So let us have an experiment and you help me. If you are, if you have a farm and you have a goat or whatever, you know, bring the Quran. Be sure that the Quran will appear in Arabic. Open it, show everybody that this is a Quran. And then you throw it in the floor for the goat and let us have an experiment. Most of them cannot say we are insulting. We are just doing exactly the experiment they are challenging us for. And we will see if the goat will eat the Quran or not. Because we want to confirm what Aisha she said, if it's true or, or not true, you know? When she said in this hadith, does really the goat, the goat will eat the Quran? Question mark. Aisha she confirmed that this has happened already. But if you have a goat and you can practice that, that will be wonderful. Any, any bits you have at home. Cats, make a video, send it to me, I will play it. Dog, like now is just gentleman here. He he tried that with the with the with the dog he had, and you know what? This guy who sent me this video about his dog. First of all, this dog is a black dog, so your experiment is not accepted. <laughs> Prophet Muhammad he said the black dog is the devil. Hello. <laughs> 
want to fool us? This is the black dog. Black dog is the devil. Prophet Muhammad, he said that. What's wrong with you? So the dog, he flip up above the Quran. He jump on the Quran. He lick the Quran because he put the food on it. This is will not be considered as a real experiment for a very simple reason. He is a black dog. Bingo. We got you busted. What about you get us a white dog? Goat, monkey, donkey. And let us see what they would do. What about you with the Quran in the floor in a stable full of cows? Let us see what the cows would do. This is what the Muslims are asking us for. They are cl claiming that animals, they believe in Islam and they understand that this is the Quran, the book of Allah, and they will not step on it. This is the whole point. So we have the right to practice, so maybe we will believe. And by the way, if you don't have a Quran, you can print Arabic Quran pages. You can, you know, there's tons of websites, they have just the Quran. Just to print a few pages from the Quran, it doesn't have the book because it's still pages from the Quran, is the Quran anyway. Print like four or five pages, put them in the floor, let us see what will happen. The dog will step in it, the cat will step on it, the goat will eat it, the cow will walk in it. What will happen? Make such an experiment come to be true, and don't record yourself for sure, you know, there's no need. And give me the video, I will, I will be the one who to play it. All right? <clears throat> Just make a private link if you want in YouTube, and send it to me in Patreon, and I will play it. All right? Yeah, and the Quran in, in, the, in the garbage, in the sewage in Saudi Arabia. Let me, let me show you, hold on. Every year, Saudi Arabia, they have a big problem in the sewage. Why? Because the Quran is all over the sewage. I'm typing in Arabic. <laughs> there is millions of uh, of uh, pictures in Google about Quran. This is Quran. Look how many Quran. We are in the sewage. Let us zoom in. And we are in Saudi Arabia. All this Quran is coming from one sewage hole. How the Quran in there? I thought about it. Maybe it is the cat who did not want to walk in the Quran. She pushed it away and she pushed it in the sewage so nobody will step on it. I'm just thinking. And I saw a Muslim saying, this is false pictures. I can show you an article written in Arabic from Islamic websites. Uh, <clears throat> Let us see what we will search in Arabic. This is the news, my friend. This is the BBC. This is what? This is the BBC. And this is your Muslim friend. It says here in the title, this is BBC, World Service Bridge Public Broadcast. The title, Anger in Saudi Arabia after finding a lot of Mus'haf or Masahif in Mus'awit Mi Quran, in the garbage, in the Medina Munawwara. This is the city of Muhammad, the city which he took from the Jews after he killed them. So this is not uh, uh, an image, Photoshop or etc. 
So, and this guy he is showing you, here we go. Do you see them? In the garbage. All of this is in the garbage. And the Muslims, they are saying, we should make a punishment. We should punish those who they are throwing them. So look what happened. Con con conclusion, conclusion. The catch is a decent Muslim catch. She will not walk in the Quran in that video. Obviously, David Wood, he hired a hooker cat. You know, he went somewhere like a bar or something. And he asked this cat, you know, who is not a decent, will know not to be decent, you know, she sleep around for for a sake of dollar or you know one bite of meat, and he asked her to do this action. I challenge David Wood to ask the Muslim, the first Muslim who made the video, to send him the cat which he used in his video, and let us see if she will walk on the Quran. By the way, Muslims, I have an offer for you. Who is willing to do life? challenge he opened his camera he put a bunch of pages of the quran in the floor five six pages and you put food in the middle and let us see if the cat will walk in it live no video editing and let us see if that will work any any muslim would like to do so because i want you to help us to defeat this guy yeah, obviously, this is a cat. She, you know, even the most even, even American they call her pussy cat. I mean, did you, did you ask yourself why they call her right away? First time I heard that, I said, "What the heck? This guy is speaking dirty to me." No, actually, actually it was a woman. I said, "Did you see my pussy cat?" I said, "I saw what? Did you see my pussy cat?" Sorry, ma'am. I, did I see what? <laughs> you know. I'm a Middle Eastern, I learned the first word, but I did not understand the rest. And she's asking me, did you see my pussycat? I said, uh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. She said, what, interested about what? <laughs> I mean, this English is really, this is really funny. <laughs> you know, like, I was like, she, what she said? Did you see my, what? I was looking down at this woman. I mean, she is. She looked decent. She didn't look like a bad person. I was really disappointed. Like, what the heck? Did I see what? And she repeated again. I said, sorry, you said what? And. In my Arabian brain, I get the first word. The second word, I did not get it. How she is. <laughs> Why she is calling her thing a cat. <laughs> oh boy. This is what happened to you when you are an immigrant and you didn't speak good English. A lot of things you will go through. You know, like when first time they said to me, the, the uh, I, I was in the army at that time. And... Uh, they said the the vice president, Mr. Dick Cheney. <laughs> I said to myself, this country is screwed up. The vice president, his name, Dick Cheney. <laughs> like the vice president or was the, the, the defense minister? I forgot. <laughs> Dick Cheney. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to talk about this no more. I was going to ask them why they call him like that. You know, like what happened? <laughs> Show some respect. So we are going to fight Taliban with Dick Cheney? <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh boy. So anyway, we know all those tricks David Wood he is using. He will use Dick Cheney, uh, you know, a track. He will use Pussycat, a track. All those tricks doesn't work with Muslims. Muslims are true believers, and nothing can persuade them. The cat, she will not walk in the Quran, and you are a liar. Okay? Who in the world would believe this video anyway? Cat would walk on a Quran. We did that with multiple Qurans, and now we have 
this cat standing on a Quran for food. But, but weren't we told that that's what a cat would never do? Nice, delicious, dry food for you. Hey, what are you doing? Walk? What are you doing stepping what on? What about you put the food without advertising for it and say nice, delicious? I mean, hey, come on. I mean, come on. What a cheap trick. He just said to her, nice, delicious. Did you see the temptation? This is satanic behavior, my friend. He tempted the cat. This is a decent cat from a good family. She will never step in the Quran. But he tempted her and he said, this is nice, delicious food. What about you with the food without saying those two magical words? Somebody contact this guy and tell him to redo the video and not to use those words. Anyone you say to him, this is nice, delicious food, he will go crazy for it. What about you say the opposite? This is disgusting food. You tempted the cat. You deceived her. And now the cat, she became a victim of temptation. On the Quran. What kind of <laughs> monster would step on a Quran? Because I've heard from thousands of Muslims that a cat will never step on the Quran. And you, you, know what the, you know what the accusation here, again, will be? That I've simply put a Quran cover on a book that isn't actually the Quran. So, once again, what is this? Is it a phone book? Is it a Bible? Is it the works of Shakespeare? Is this Romeo and Juliet that I'm flipping through? What is it? Look, the cat, she don't even care about the video. She is still eating. <laughs> the, the Quran underneath of her, the Quran in the front of her. She did not lose her appetite. <laughs> Didn't Allah curse this cat right away and make her like a, you know, a stone or something? Huh? After she stepped in the Quran? Muslims? Shouldn't Allah make this cat a punish her like he make her a monkey maybe? This is how shallow and how stupid this religion is. And what make it more disgusting is those who make videos just to get a click to make some money. Reaction of when he, the, he puts certain words so he can get the attention, a Catholic. And obviously, he is just a scam. A Catholic girl reaction for the cat is not working. I mean, those were a reaction <clears throat> in certain point become number one business for many. Reaction. You want to see our reaction? Well, read the Quran and you will see how stupid it is. And then let us see your reaction. A guy, he died standing for a year. And why did no, nobody notice? Because he was holding a stick until the termite ate him. I want to see your reaction. What about your reaction of the earth is a flat? What about your reaction that Allah, he made the Jews monkeys and pigs, as the Quran says? What is your reaction that Muhammad did not eat lizard because he think they are Jewish? <laughs> no sound? My microphone is gone? No, my microphone is working. <clears throat> anyway, we bought a new microphone. And uh, so tomorrow, supposedly, we will get it. But I will not go live tomorrow until I get the new microphone. Because, um, you know, I hope that this issue will be solved with the new microphone. This microphone cost me $150, and it's, uh, they told me in the description, it speaks all languages, it speaks Spanish, it speaks German, it speaks Russian, and it speaks uh, uh, Quran, you know, which is very important, and it speaks Arabic, you know. So this is like international microphone, all right? And this is why I bought it. And not only that, it says you can shout in this, in this uh, microphone. 
So this is a special microphone, you can shout with it. And as long as it speaks all languages, so now, you know, I can speak like in all my language, and from your side, you will hear like different language, I guess. I think, I think that's what they meant. It's, just, it's good for all languages, you know? So like it's a special technology, you know? So like you say, as an example, <clears throat> I will use this microphone to speak to cats online. I will open a class, education class, about Islam for cats. So I will speak like now, that the cats from their side, they will hear meow, 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 you know? So uh, this microphone can solve a lot of problems of education and communication. Did you remember the guy, the Muslim, he called me, he said, Allah don't talk, he, com he communicate. <laughs> Allah, he don't talk, he communicate. <laughs> yeah, Sophia, if you want, I can say it to you. I get it for 150 and because you are a close, uh, uh, like a little safe fan, you always come here so i can say it for you for 250. this is only things i do for close people to me you know so if you are interested sophia i will give you the microphone for 250. who who want the microphone for 250 just give me one i get it for 150 but because you are a close fan here and you come always i will give it to you for 250. this is how we arab we show our like that's we care for our friends you know if i give it to you in the same price it's mean i don't care really you know this is how like Arab culture is like we have to rip you off so now okay so how much you will give it to me oh, I got it for 150 hello so I have to give it to you for 250 so I can show you how much really we care for you know for our friends yeah actually you know what I was thinking <clears throat> I was thinking if we can hire this cat, which David would he hire, we need to ask him where he got this cat from. Because obviously he contacted any agency, you know. There's agencies where they, you can hire cats and they are very well trained. So they trained him like this cat obviously is trained for a century. God knows how long to walk in the Quran. So I want to ask him like he can, if he can contact the same agency so they can provide us with a cat, she can do dancing. Imagine how many of you I will get in my video if I get a cat doing belly dancing. Can you believe it? Or if we can get a cat, she can uh, uh, sing a song for, uh, you know the thing. Or she can make the sound of Joe Biden. Hmm. <clears throat> he will give 150. You will get nothing for 150, you know? Do you used to be a Muslim? I mean, English is really funny. Used to be Muslim. Used. I'm not used, man. What are you talking about? I'm brand new. At least it's what my mom, she told me. When she got me, I was brand new. Not used. <laughs> no, I, I never was a Muslim, even for a second. I'm not. Do I sound like that stupid for you to believe the earth is a flat? And the one who don't, you know, who fishing in Saturday, Allah will make him a pig. <laughs> he, by the way, as long Allah, he made the Jews pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday. Why is not doing that anymore? Why? What do you think, Muslims? Did you see Netanyahu doing fishing in Saturday? Hmm? This God is really weird. So Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys for fishing in Saturday. He will not make this cat a pig for walking in the Quran? Life on here? I'm not sure, really. I mean, this God, Allah, is really something. So if you rape a woman, he will not make you a pig or a monkey. If you rape a child, Allah will not make you a pig or a monkey. But if you do fishing on Saturday, Allah will make you a pig and a monkey. That's something. How anyone in the world, he can be a Muslim even for one day. You see, to be a Muslim, you have to put your head, your brain in the shell. Freeze it and never tease it. How in the world this is from God? Monkeys and pigs for what? For fishing in Saturday? 
And if so, why the Muslims are breaking the Saturday then? If Saturday is so important for the God of Islam. What happened? It's not important no more? And why the Muslims, they work on Friday? How come Allah did not forbid them from working on Friday? Stories and hypocrisy and stupidity and you know, you name it. Anyway, anyone have a question for me? I can ask, I can answer any question to you except the last name of the cat. We are not going to reveal the last name of the cat for security reason. Okay? Because some of you might try to find who is this cat, where she live, who is her father, you know, you know, because she is step on the Quran. So don't ever ask me where, who is this cat, who is her daddy, who is her mommy, who is her sibling. I know all the siblings of this cat. They are from a decent family. They sleep around, to be honest with you. But this is just for, you know, you know the thing. I mean, they are bored, you know? Let us continue with David Wood and this movie. Those of you who are honest, be honest about what this is. You've told me a cat will not walk on it. What is it all the way through? Is this a phone book at any point? Is this some other book at any point? What is this book? This cat is a savage. Very savage. What kind of savage are you? What kind of savage, untamed beast would be trampling all over multiple Arabic Qurans? And, oh, we know what the claim is, don't we, cat? We know what the claim is. These aren't really Qurans, are they? No. No, these aren't really Qurans. These aren't really Qurans. I'm just making it up. These are phone books, ladies and gentlemen. Phone books. This cat is not human. It feels no pain. Hold it on. can't be reasoned with. Did he just say this cat is not real? Did you hear it? Play it again. Not really, Qurans. I'm just making it up. These are phone books, ladies and gentlemen. Phone books. This cat is not human. Not a human? What do you mean? What? It feels no pain. What? It can't be reasoned with. It can't be reasoned with. I mean, obviously, this is a machine. See? This is a robot. This is not a real cat. There is no incentive known to human beings that will convince a cat to walk or step on the Quran. Nothing will do it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing will do it. So obviously, this must not be the Quran, right? This must not be the Quran. There's no way this is the Quran. Hey, David, I have an idea. Why you don't do this show in the street? <laughs> Go in front of the mosque and put a bunch of, uh, a bunch of Quran in the floor. <laughs> and, they, and say the same. This is cat cannot be real. This is cannot, say say again again. It sounds like a circus. <laughs> Please say this guy is funny. You see, actually, I have to admit, David Wood is the best to make those videos. I can't make videos like him when it's come to this, those things like short videos to refute Muslims in, in 15, 20 minutes. He can do it. I cannot. My video 15 minutes is two hours at least. <laughs> a phone book? <laughs> is it a Bible? Is it the works of Shakespeare? Shakespeare, is this for sure. Romeo and Juliet that I'm flipping through? What is it? Those of you who are honest, be honest about what this is. You've told me a cat will not walk on it. What is it all the way through? Is this a phone book at any point? Is this some other book at any point? What is this book? This cat is a savage. What kind of savage are you? What kind of savage, untamed beast would be trampling all over multiple Arabic Qurans? And, oh, we know what the claim is, don't we, cat? We know what the claim is. These aren't really Qurans, are they? 
No, no, these aren't really Qurans. These aren't really Qurans. I'm just making it up. These are phone books, ladies and gentlemen. Phone books. This cat is not human. This guy, he was it working in the circus no for sure. It can't be reasoned with. There is no incentive known to human beings that will convince a cat to walk or step on the Quran. Nothing will do it, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing will do it. So obviously, this must not be the Quran, right? This must not be the Quran. There's no way this is the Quran. No. Look how she jumped. I'll never do that again. <laughs> You'll no, no, all over the Qurans. Look how she jumped. Just for a piece of string. <laughs> These must not even. Hey, Muslims, I have an idea. I can contact David Wood. And through him, we can get the cat. Or we can bribe the cat. What do you think? How much you pay? So to reverse the, the effect of this video. If you can promise the cat, full time salary, weekend included, vacation in uh, Bahama. In Bahama, there's no rats. <laughs> what she will do in Bahama? I mean, come on. We want a place where full of uh, mice and rat. Okay, vacation in the Middle East. You know, a lot of rats there. Uh, vacation in the Middle East, unlimited supply of mice and rats. Hmm? Uh, uh, transportation, uh, haircut, uh, you know, what, what cats, well, we need to ask her too, you know. If you promise her all those things, I think this cat, she can do different. So what do you think? Maybe this guy, David Wood, he promised her that those things before the video started. Like, listen, if you do this, I will give you unlimited supply of rats and mice. Hmm? Hmm. I just remember that thing here. Let us show you this story. Uh, we will go to the story of Noah. You know, if we say to the Muslims uh, a story, they will say his line, as usual, you know. Uh, so we have to show reference as usual. This is the book, Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Or we can go and read the front books, you know, like at uh, tadkhiru uh, Tafsir, volume number one, page number 257, uh, Faslul Tafsir, uh, 37, 36. But anyway, this is all over. So here they are telling you the story about Noah. And as long as we are talking about the cat, so I said to myself, there is no way I'm going to skip this thing. But let us open first a, a book, not just this is a website here, I don't see a book. This is a fatwa. Let us see. <clears throat> Give me a minute. <laughs> you should see what I'm reading. You would die laughing when we start reading. <laughs> this is the seer, Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Now, if we go to English, uh, this is a chapter of Hood. If we go to the English tafsir, I don't think we will find the same thing. But let's try. Maybe. Because in English, always they hide uh, what Ibn Kathir is saying. Uh, 
and we go to verse number 40 and try to find this in English. Are we going to find it? I don't think so, but we will see. Yeah, look what happened. Look at those cowards. This is the same verse. This is the same verse we are talking about. In Ibn Kathir, it's just a few lines. It's not even making, the, making a print of one page. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. The same book. Here it says something totally different. When Allah, he ordered Noah, when Allah, he ordered Noah, animals start entering in pairs. Uh, like he ordered him to carry from every kind uh, two pair, or two, like, uh, uh, two, like male and female, uh, from all kinds of a creation, who have soul. And even he, they say some, they say even plants. Two, male and female. And the first one who enter is a bird. It's called a durra. And then the last animal who enter, it was a don the donkey. <laughs> and Shaitan, he hang in his tail. Okay, why we cannot see this in the, in the English Ibn Kathir? Why those stories here is not in Ibn Kathir? Any Muslim can tell me? I will use Google translation. So uh, uh, the last animal who entered the, the, uh, the ship, it was the donkey. And the donkey, the reason he was uh, like he entered so like he was the last, because simply Shaitan, he was holding him or he was hanged himself in his tail. He hanged himself on the tail. And that explain why the donkey is not entering the ship. So here it says, and then uh, uh, and each time the donkey he tried to get up, uh, but uh, the shaitan he make him so heavy because he is holding him from his tail. And then Noah, uh, he said to the donkey, "What's up with you? Shame on you! Get in!" The donkey he tried to get up and he could not. And then. Uh, Noah, he gave up. So he says, let enter even if shaitan is with you. And this is how shaitan, he got a permission to enter that ship. <laughs> let us translate to English. And then we will, we will find you the story of the cat. Here the story of the cat, it says, this is why I moved here. When the, the messenger of Allah, he said, let me see if I can find this uh, in the English translation, this hadith here, hold on. I don't think I will be able to find it in English, but we will try. Yeah, we cannot find it. The, the Prophet of Allah, Messenger of Allah, he said, when, when, uh, when Noah, he carry, uh, when he went in his ship, uh, like he carry in his ship, from every kind to, like male and female, uh, his companion, they said to him, uh, how, we can, how we can be, uh, feel safe, and we have the animals, and we have the lion inside the ship. So Allah, he made the lion had a flu. You know, sorry, like a flu. And then this is the first flu ever came or fever came to the earth. Or, you know, like the, the, as illness. And then they complained to him. They said, we found the mice. The mice is in. She is going to destroy our food. So Allah, he inspired the lion. So the lion, he did his sneeze. <laughs> and from his nose, a cat came out, and then the mice disappear. <laughs> now we will use Google Translation, so the Abdul, they will not say. It doesn't say that, CP. And then you need to ask yourself, how come we cannot find any of those details in Ibn Kathir in English? This is a good question, right? Obviously, the one who did the translation, he knew that this is very stupid, and he is ashamed of his own book, so he decides to cut it off. Okay, for a problem again? Oh, boy.
Okay, is it is it good now? Is it better? Well, I muted the mic because you told me the mic is making noise, so I don't want to hurt your ears until we fix it. And this mic, you know, until tomorrow we would have a new microphone. What we can do? So, did you uh, uh, like what did you hear from the story? You heard how the donkey he he got with Shaitan in. Did you hear that part? Was it clear? Was that part clear, or I should start from where? Because we can go back. So just to go back over it again, as long you know you guys have a difficulty. So Allah He told uh, He told Noah to carry from every animal two things, and then the last animal who enter it was the donkey, and then uh, and the reason the donkey he was the last. And Noah, he said to him, shame on you, what's wrong with you? Get in. The donkey, he tried to get in, to get inside the ship, but he could not. Why? Because Shaitan, he was holding him from his tail. And then Noah, he gave up because the flood is coming soon. It's, it's going to be too late. So he said to him, you know what? Get in even if you, the Shaitan is with you. And this is how Shaitan, he was able to survive the flood. So the Muhammad and they are trying to find a way how we can find the solution for the flood? How come Shaitan he did not die? <laughs> the solution is Noah he allowed Shaitan, he allowed Shaitan to get in the ship <laughs> by holding the donkey from his tail. Hey Noah, for the sake for the sake of donkey you got a Shaitan. What's wrong with you? I mean let the Shaitan and the, let Shaitan and the donkey stay out and die. Which one is better to get the donkey in <laughs> with shaitan or to get no donkey and no shaitan? <laughs> and then the story here continues saying, Prophet of Allah, Messenger of Allah, he says, when Noah, he went in his ship, he carried from every kind tooth, a two, like male and female. And the, the, his friends, the companion, they said to him, how he, and the companion of Muhammad, they said to Muhammad, how he can trust we can feel safe he have animals like goats and sheep etc and he have a lion in the ship the prophet he said allah he made uh, uh the lion have a, 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 a flavor a fever or a flu you know and this is the first flu ever came to this earth ever and because now the, 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 the lion will be sick during the trip and he will not you know, chase anyone. And then they complained to Noah. They said to him, what about the mice? al which is a very funny name in Muhammad he come with. He is going to destroy our food and our stuff. So Allah, he inspired the lion. So the lion, he sneezed and a catch, he came out from his nose. All right. Uh, and let me use Google Translation now. Here we go. I will give you the link actually. You can use Google Translation from your side. And now we knew, all of you. Okay, the admin is posting it. Now we knew where the cat she came from. So here you see the story of the donkey. Uh, it's trying to get in in the ship, but he could not. Why? Because. Uh, uh, the shaitan he was holding him from uh, his his tail. So he, uh, uh, the Google translation is funny. So like he says to him, "What malaka?" Which means, "What's wrong with you?" Enter, get in. So he get up the donkey, but he's unable. Why? Because the devil is holding him from his tail. And then uh, Noah he said to him, "Enter, even if the devil is with you." You know. Translation is not not good, but you know, Google what you can say. Uh, and then here, Muhammad he speak about uh, about the cat. Let us see where is the cat. I mean, this translation of Google is horrible. Okay, so here they say. Uh, that the messenger of Allah, uh, he, uh, uh, they ask him, how can be uh, there is peace, how they can be safe, 
and there's a lion and there's livestock in the ship with them. So Allah, he sent the fever on the, on the lion and he got sick and this was the first fever ever came to the earth. And then they complain about the mouse and they said, uh, the force of the damaging one is going to be is going to damage our stuff and our food so Allah revealed to the lion revealed inspired the lion so he sneezed and the cat came out from his nose or his mouth do you see it so now we knew which cat is David Wood is using this cat, obviously, she is the same cat she was with Noah. And she came from the nose or the mouth of the lion. And Allah, he made the first cat for that purpose. So the mice will not eat all the food of Noah. Who can beat those evidence? Here we see that cats, they are like, you know, as you see, it says Allah, he, he, he inspired the lion to sneeze. So cat is a, is a kind of revelation. So here he says, listen, so Allah, he revealed this translation saying, so Allah, he revealed to the lion. So he sneezed and the cat came out of him. So we can say that this cat, is a kind of a gift from Allah as revelation so it can solve our problems. What do you want more? And still you don't believe? So yes, this cat, she will not walk in the Quran because simply she is sent by Allah. She is a true believer. And obviously this cat, which is David Wood, he is using, she is an apostate cat. This is a cat, she left Islam, obviously. And you notice here that this cat, she decided to leave Allah for the sake of delicious food. It's a very shameful behavior from a cat. She is coming from a good family, coming from the nose of a lion. I mean, how many cats we knew in the world? They are coming from a good family. Their grandfather is Mr. Lion, who he sneezed them from his nose because he had a flu. And this is makes sense where cats coming from, from the nose of the lion. Why? Because he have a flu, all right? Now, this is explained to you many secrets in your life. Like when you were a kid, you ask your mom, where I'm coming from? She says to you, from the chimney. Okay, what about my sister? Oh, we found her in the mall. And what about my cousin, uh, James? Where he is he from? She say, oh, they found him in the, the truck. Okay, what about my other cousin, uh, James, Joseph? Where, you, you know, uh, oh, we found him under the sink. And then the kid, he asked himself, like, what's wrong with those people? Nobody have sex these days? All of this, they are trying to hide from you the fact that they have sex. But the reality is, not everything is coming from sex. And the example is cats. Cats, they came from a sneezing. And I will not be surprised if we found later a hadith where Muhammad, he said, that somebody sneezed and a human come to come from his nose. You never know, Muhammad, he come with the stories. Who can beat Muhammad with his stories? Nobody. And look how he made the lion have a flu. I mean, who can come with such an, okay, the lion is in the ship. Now we need to find a solution. How the lion he is with the goat and etc. He will not eat them. How, how, huh? Allah will have him have a flu. He will spend the, the whole journey sleep. You know, do you know what will happen to you when you have a flu? Can you imagine how red the, the nose of the lion was? But the question here, as long each time the lion, his sneeze, a cat will come, so you should not have one cat. <laughs> Didn't you just say that the guy, he have a flu? <laughs> so what, he sneezed one, only once? <laughs> Based on this, 
the ship of Noah should collapse because it's going to be overweight because of cats. Each time the, the, the lion he sneezes, a cat will come out from his nose. Anyway, true story. <clears throat> now we have the challenge of doing an experiment. If any one of you like to participate, and remember, we are not doing this experiment for the purpose of insult, but we want to see if what the Muslims is saying is true or not. So if you have a Quran and you have a goat in your farm, Draw the Quran, take your video first. Show first the Quran, show them that this is Quran, real Quran. Draw the Quran in the ground in front of the goat, and let us see what the goat will do. And then we will like, we will use like the tick tock, tick 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 tick, like to see, because this is, will, our heart will be beating. Is the goat going to eat the Quran? If the goat, she ate the Quran, that's mean the story which mentioned by Aisha is true, that reading a goat, she like to eat the Quran, and goat, they don't show respect to Allah. As we we saw uh, in the hadith, if you remember. And if you have other animals, you can practice the same. You can, don't show yourself, there's no need. Don't show anything about your location, anything. Make it a private. And you give me the link private. Just make it like, uh, not private, make it uh, like, an, what do they call it? Unpublished, you know, but not public, but not private too. And published. This way I will be able to uh, view it if you send me the link, and I will be able to download it, and then I will make a, 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 a nice video about it. Uh, so all of you, you are welcome to do such an experiment. Uh, I wish I have a monkey. I want to know what monkey would do if he hold the horn. Do you know why I want to do the monkey thing? Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Why I would like to see what is the reaction. There's many videos reaction, you know, in the, in the V2. Reaction, Catholic reaction. And they like to say Catholic because they knew that the Muslims, they consider Catholic as the number one enemy. So they say Catholic reaction for the Quran, Catholic reaction for the dog, uh, reaction for the Adan, etc. The reason I wanna, I wanna uh, do this experiment with the monkey, if I can, because according to Muslims, Monkeys are Muslims and they practice Sharia law. If you remember the story here in front of us, where a female monkey, she committed adultery. I need to find you the whole story, which is very funny. The story is long, by the way. So a, a female monkey, uh, her husband was sleeping over her arm. Uh, and then uh, another monkey, he is handsome, but not like me, you know. Uh, so, you know, the other monkey, you know, he's handsome, he's good looking, he speaks languages, you know, he have a new iPhone in his hand, <laughs> iPhone 14. So this guy, you know, he did, uh, like he, uh, he looked at her like, and he blinked like, you know, like, what do you think? Huh? Are you interested in some business together behind the tree? <laughs> so... This monkey, female monkey, look how evil this monkey is. You know? I mean, how in the world she do that to her husband? Your husband, he trusted you. Mr. Chapanzi, he sleep, he have no idea what this female monkey she is preparing herself for. Actually, I found the, 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 the longer version of the, of the story. But it's in Arabic, as usual. I wish we can find it in English. But if you have my books, actually, it's a section of Allah, you can read it in English. So here, it says here, this monkey, her husband, he slept over her hand. And then a younger monkey, he come and he blink his eye. Guys, I'm not exaggerating. This is what it says in the front of you. I will give you the link. You can use Google Translation. Hey, hold on. Let me let me send you the link so you can ex if, have first first hand experiment experiment of the first cheater monkey. Here we go. This is the link. Uh, the website have like a two parts of it, so you need to remember. 
like just to explain to you how this website works. So when you open it, you will find uh, like this part, you can just scroll, but you are not moving the whole page, just to let you know. So like here, you will notice that there is like a kind of a divided script. So this one, if you, if you move this one, the other page, the other side of the page is not moving. It's like a window, you know what I mean? Just take a note of that. So here it says, a young monkey, he came and he blinked and then she took her hand slowly from under the head of her husband, the monkey. And then she follow, uh, she follow him and do boom, boom. And then he saw them. Uh, no, sorry, the, the, the monkey, عليها, which means he did boom, boom with her. And this Muslim, this is a companion of the Prophet, he was watching. He saw what happened from the beginning to the end. So he was watching the whole porn. And then she went back, and then she started putting her arm slowly under the, <laughs> the, the, the cheek of the husband, the first, the first guy. And then he woke up, and he was like scared because she woke him up. And then he started smelling her, he sniff, and he starts screaming. Allahu Akbar, maybe. But he's not saying he was screaming, saying what? So all the monkeys, they came, and then he started moving his arm and moving his finger at her. And then all the monkeys, they came, and they start looking for her. And then they found that monkey, which they knew, the one who did the cheating. And then they opened uh, a hole for them both in the ground, and they stoned them. By the way, this is one of the many versions of the story. So just to let you know, you might read the story in different version. Let us use Google translation and you will see the details. So you can use that in your side. You can, this is the link, save it, you know, and you can, uh, uh, you can use Google translation. So this is Islam, you know, my friend. And then they say to you, Allahu Akbar, and this garbage. But they see how the manipulation work. They see how the deception work. This guy who made the video about the cat, he did editing, obviously. Any part where the cat is, she stepped, he cut it off. And because people are really stupid, and people are really silly, isn't it even a shame that we are wasting our time talking about this? But what we can do, a human being is really a shameful creature. Especially those who make videos saying reaction and they claim, they, and they are Muslims, just to make some click, just to get some click of people in their videos. They make video called reaction for the Quran. A Catholic, look at this guy, this guy is a big scammer. He have a million videos just to make reaction because he knew the Muslim they will come. And he called himself Catholic. Emotional Christian react to the cat will not walk in the Quran. We are speaking about this topic because the, the, the satanic forces is joining together. Those who worship the money, they just want to make a click for a video. 2.5 million view. This girl, look, I mean, I can tell you are so, so believer, and you care too much for religion. I mean, look at you. You, you know, the religion is dropping from you. Eight million of you. Eight million of you. Why? Because she got two reasoning to click. They click to see the to who to see who is this girl, you know, and a lot of attraction there, and to see the cat who is not stepping in the Quran. <laughs> Eight million of you. Islam education. Quran versus Bible. Would the cat walk in the Bible, brother? Yes. But she will not walk in the Quran. This is how shameful a human being is. Look, all those kids, they learn that this is a great business. If we do this, 
we will get a click. As simple as that. But, uh, you know, David Wood, he got them busted in very, in very small, short video. I, I would like to do a video like, you know, I mean, uh, but I don't have a cat. I don't have a dog. I don't have any of those, you know. A Catholic girl, she react to the word of Allah will move you. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> anyway, anyone have any question? I know uh, David Wood. David Wood. Uh, I say to you, I, this is a special message, brother. Hey, brother Muslims, I want you to carry this uh, message for me to David Wood. David Wood, I challenge you to tell us the name of the cat you are using. I challenge you to bring this cat to public to examine her. If you dare. Same time, if you look at this cat, did you notice that she feels so sad for what she is doing? She knew the consequence. Do you think Allah now will take her to heaven? Just, yeah, just a question. Do you think this cat now, she will be considered in the heaven of Allah as a good cat? But you can imagine what will happen to the cat who never step in the Quran. She will go to heaven for sure, and Allah will bring a billion mice for her every day. Allah will reward you, cat, for not walking in the Quran. What the reward of a cat? What do you think, guys? I mean, cat, and she is a Muslim, and she is going to heaven now. What Allah will give her? I'm not sure. Mice? That would be horrible. You go to heaven, you find mice and rat? I hope not. Very silly, and this is how desperate they are. You know, when you are bankrupt, eh, everything is possible. Could we get Shia books in one catalog like Sunni library? Well, I don't know what they mean. What do you mean catalog? catalog? There's no such a thing. There's no such a thing in, in, in uh, Sunni or in Shia. Like there's a group of books, as an example, Al-Bukhari. There's a groups of uh, a Muslim. But why you want to get any of those books? Why you want to waste your money? The only books I have in my house is Ibn Kathir. And I don't open them. Because I can go in the internet, in two seconds I can find the reference. If I open the book, it's going to take me forever. There is volume after volume after volume. The print is not clear. The book is yellow pages from the from the God knows when. So why you wanna waste your time and your money uh, buying Muslim books, which mean you are paying Muslim money? Here we go. Any story we wanna find, we can find it from the internet, and you can get a Google translation, which is not. You see, if you get Ibn Kathir in English, I just showed you Ibn Kathir in English, it's totally different from Ibn Kathir in Arabic. This is the same verses where we showed you the, the, the donkey holding the tail, uh, or the tail of the donkey hold by Shaitan. Where the story here, we cannot find it, it's gone. Any question? There is a website actually, it's called Shia Library. It's a Shia, but the book there is Sunni and Shia and everything. You know? And I use this website many times.
This is the website. It's called Shia Library. Dot com. Shia Library. Dot com. This is a Shia website, yes, but it is a huge collection of books for free. <clears throat> so here you can click at books, and there is endless numbers of books. Like you go pages here, number down, page number two, all of those is each one of them is a the name of a book, and even they have them in PDF file legally, supposedly, as they claim. So they have. Shia books, they have Sunni books, they have all kinds of books. All right. Like here, you notice that this is uh, the same name for the same book here, all the way here, the same book. There's Shia, there is Sunni. Don't waste, I, I will not even buy a Quran. Why I want to buy a Quran? Like now, if you want to do this experiment, you do not need to do really buy the Quran. Print some, uh, you know, if you have a printer. Print 10 pages of the Quran, put them in the floor, let us see if the goat would eat them. <laughs> Print the Arabic one. It's for free. And it doesn't cost you except the papers. Don't, don't never, never waste your money in Islamic books. You know? Never. First of all, when you buy their books, you are sponsoring Islamic agenda. The money you spend, you buy it from them, you are sponsoring either a mosque to build a mosque or Muslim Brotherhood, God knows. <clears throat> and I have a challenge for the Mohammedan, the one who claimed that the cat, she did not walk in the Quran, who is a Muslim would like to call me and do life experiment. You bring a cat and feel free to train your cat, no problem. You put a bunch of pages of the Quran on the floor and put food on the pages. And you know what? You can do this before you call me. Let the cat eat as much as she can. <laughs> If the cat she did not eat at all, that's mean obviously you are you you did feed the cat already, so we will get you busted. <laughs> uh, so their prophet have zero miracle. They are looking for the cat miracle. Can you believe it? Their their prophet he could not do miracle. Suddenly the cat is the proof of their prophet. What the Quran says about camel? Well, there is a miracle supposedly about a she camel. There is a there's a guy. His people they ask him for something impossible. They say to him, "Can you make this rock a camel? She is carrying a baby. She will deliver a baby soon." Allah He made that rock. A camel. And he told them, this camel can give you milk for the whole nation. But don't touch it. I mean, don't hurt it. Don't do anything bad to it. And then one day, those people, they kill the camel of Allah. So Allah destroyed them. It must be a true story. You see here? Yeah. And then after he Allah he made the, the rock a camel and the camel she have a baby, it's ten month old. She gave birth to it, female baby. Uh, they killed the she camel brother and disobey Allah. And then Allah he destroyed them because they killed his holy camel. I'm so glad it's not a cow because the Hindu, they will make a story of it then. <clears throat> the 
Anything else? And again, you know, the story of anything in the Quran is not in one chapter. Like now I showed you chapter 7. Uh, but you can find the same story in chapter number 11. You can find again mention in chapter number 17. Etc. So the Quran is not an organized book. It's not like the Bible. It's just a stupid book. You, can, you know, it's like somebody scattered papers all over, and then we put them inside the book without knowing where this page belonged to. So they killed the she camel. This is a chapter seven, verse number seventy-seven. And here, this is a, a, a story of the she camel, chapter eleven, sixty-four. Here they ask him to make a miracle. This guy, his name is Saleh. They call him, uh, Muslim, they call him a prophet Saleh. Who is Saleh? We do not know. Don't ask. Where he lived, they don't know. Uh, so they said to him, uh, Can you make sign or uh, can your God uh, make something for us, a miracle? You know? Can you give us like a sign from your God? So Allah, he gave him the sign. He says, okay, this is the she camel you are asking for. Uh, and the question is, why Muhammad don't have those signs? I mean, how come everybody have a sign except Muhammad? Everybody have a sign. And why people, they want to kill a camel was feeding them with milk, all the nation. I never heard of a camel can do that anyway. Uh, is it true that Allah, he says that whoever Muslim does not eat camel meat, he does not belong to us? Well, all those stories, you know, Muhammad is the one who say those things. Uh, but most of the time you find, you don't find, uh, such a story coming from the God of Muhammad. There is uh, there is millions of stories, by the way. Uh, Muslims cannot even explain. I mean, how in the world those stories can be can be true? see and by the way uh, camel meat is forbidden for the Jews and uh, even the camel milk to drink and this is why Muhammad in the hadith if you remember uh, when he speak about the rats he claimed that they are Jews how he discovered that because he noticed that those rats didn't drink camel milk. Let us find the difference. So Muhammad, because he is super intelligent, he said to himself, aha, uh -huh. so those rats don't eat, don't drink camel milk, and Jews don't drink camel milk. So those must be the Jews who disobey Allah and Allah, he turned them into rats. Do you see it? And this is the reference in Sahih al-Bukhari, in case you want to see the reference. Hadith number 3305. So Muhammad, because he is a very observing person, he knew he heard from Allah, but he didn't know what Allah did to them. He made them lizards. Sometimes he thinks they are lizards. Why? Because the lizards have five fingers. The Jews have five fingers, so the lizards are the Jews. Sometimes he thinks that they are rats. Sometimes he thinks they are monkeys or, or, or apes, as the Quran says. It's the event, you know? Uh, but in this story here, Muhammad, he says, as you see, it says, a group of Israelists were lost and nobody knows what they did. 
How come you do not know? Isn't Allah and Muhammad knows best? But I do not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats. But in the Quran, he says, Allah, he made them monkeys and apes. Or now they give you the reason why. Or if you put the milk of a she camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it. So Muhammad is a genius. He said to himself, Oh, oh, rats don't drink she camel milk. Jews don't drink she camel milk. Bingo, discovery. Those rats must be Orthodox Jews, not only Jews. <laughs> they are not only Jews, they are conservative Jews. They are following, they are following the law. <laughs> so based on this, even, even rats are believers in Allah. I mean, this is stupid religion, man. Who in the world want to believe in such a... This guy is obviously mentally ill. I mean, how silly, how stupid you are to come to such a conclusion. So, okay, well, Muslims don't drink whiskey and donkeys don't drink whiskey. Shall I say that those donkeys, they used to be Muslim and Allah cursed them? To be donkeys? What is that? And by the way, it's not accurate. Muslims are number one buyers for alcohol in the world. Go to Saudi Arabia, go to Emirat, go to Kuwait. In countries which like uh, they allow uh, alcohol, but uh, uh, you have to be like some countries they say if you are a foreigner, you can buy alcohol, not local, right? So, what do you do? You like you have an employee, he's a foreigner, you say to him, Go and buy some alcohol, but for you, supposedly, bring it to me, and he will give you extra money as tips. Anyway, uh, I'm going to stop here because. I spoke for many, many hours. Tomorrow, if I go live, I'm planning to go live, but I'm not sure now of the time. I will, maybe I should have changed it. Uh, but tomorrow we will get the microphone, the new microphone. I will not go live on air until we get the new microphone. So if we get it early, we go early. If we got the microphone late, then maybe late at night. The beach. And uh, if you are really interested to make any kind of experiment, like if you have a goat, but the Quran, we, we are not making the video to insult, just experiment. We want to see if the goat, she will respect the Quran. That's what the Muslim trying to say to us. Uh, my friend, we mentioned this story many times, every day we mention it, the story about Solomon and the birds. But anyway, uh, I'm here today for many hours, as you know, I, so I, I apologize really for staying that long. Already today, you know, I don't know, six hours, and the day before, six, seven hours, I'm not sure how many hours. And uh, today we enjoy our time with our, this hero cat. Cat, we are so proud of you. You know, cat, because of you now, you saved our faith. Because the previous cat from your family, she almost destroyed our faith. Because of you, a lot of people were converting to Islam because your sister, Mrs. Cat, Sherry, she refused to walk in the Quran. But you, cat, this cat, you saved us. Thank you. We Christians, we do not know what to do without the cat of David Wood, friend. Thank you. Should we make a statue for you? Put it in the Kaaba? So the Muslim will remember you forever? Should we put you in the book of Genesis because you prove that the Muslims are a bunch of liars? trying to fabricate a miracle? Listen, cat. what do you want for your birthday? I mean, ask for anything I can buy from eBay, but I cannot buy rats or mice from there. Do you want chocolate? No? What do you want? And actually, this cat, she remind me of a, of a Muslim. His name is Abdul, actually. I'm not making fun. This is his name. Once he called me, he said, listen, I said, what? He said, in the, uh, uh, in the grocery store, they have a big shelf of food, canned food, meat, for free. I said, what are you talking about? Said, I'm telling you, it's for free. I said, no way, I mean, why for free? He said, I am sure it says big sign. I said, okay. So anyway, this guy, he, he, he took a lot of those canned food, 
and he, and he, you know, he told me how delicious it is, how tasty it is. One day I went to his apartment and he wanted to remember. He said, yes, I remember. Let me show you. Let me show you the free canned food I got. I said, okay, show me. So he brought the canned food and I look. Now my English is not good. His English is not good, but I was able to see it says for animal use. <laughs> so I said to him, Abdul, you idiot. This is a food they give for free for the cats. This is not for the human. Are you eating this every day? This is the one you are eating? This is the one you told me you are so happy you get a free canned food and so delicious? It's a cat food. They are giving it for free for the cats. <laughs> this is why it's for free. I was surprised, like why in the world, in the grocery store, they have, I mean, since when they give food for free? Uh, go on, you know? <laughs> so he went to the shelf. It says for free. He look, it says like meat. There's a picture of meat. And you know, okay. So he, and he got like 200 of them. Like, you know, he have the whole, the whole shelves is full. <laughs> and he, uh, you know, and he carried them in back and he walked like maybe 20 minutes to his house. Uh, a very long walk, his shoulders hurting him, but he said that, and you know what? But it's worth it. It's really worth it. <laughs> no, his real name for real, Abdul, is not making fun, but he's a nice guy, by the way, very nice guy. Very good guy. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, we did not watch the end of the movie. Let us finish it so we can close this movie forever. No, 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 all over the cross. Just for a piece of string. <laughs> These must not even be Qurans. Oh, no, they are. Oh, no. But I heard that cats will never, ever in a billion years walk on the Quran as long as it's in pure Arabic, which this happens to be. Oh, no. I'm so shocked. It's such a shocker. Walking right across the Quran. Look at that. Come on. You want to get brushed? You want to get brushed? Why would you walk on the Quran just to get brushed? This cat will stand on the Quran just to get brushed. Stand here, right in between. Stand anywhere but on these Qurans. Why? Of all the places you could stand, do you have to just stand on the Quran? I'm very confused now. This cat is simultaneously stepping on three Qurans in the same moment. All right, I'm gonna have to pull this out from under you just so everyone can see what book we're dealing with here. What is this? What is this book? Is it an English translation? What is it? There are plenty of places where you could stand. Why are you standing directly on the Quran? Of all the places in the world, you could stand right here. You could stand right there. Stand right there. Why are you standing right here? I'm doing everything in my power to convince you to have more respect for the Holy Quran. Now she's just attacking the Quran. It's a Quran massacre. What are you going to do to that Quran? Huh? There's nothing there. He's, he's playing just with pawing it. at it. He's playing she's with it. Seeking knowledge. Like what? <laughs> she's seeking the knowledge of Allah. He's seeking knowledge. <laughs> what she's doing? Come on, turn a page. That would be awesome. <laughs> turn a page. Yeah. That cat is actually slicing up the Quran. This guy, this guy is something. <laughs> yeah, come on, turn the page. That would be awesome. <laughs> good one, good one, David Wood. With her paws. She wants the knowledge. She wants the knowledge from Allah. She feels the power of the Quran. She seeks the truth. She's really Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. <laughs> she wants the knowledge. She wants all the knowledge of the Quran. She's devouring the holy uh -oh. Quran. She cut the page. So a few weeks ago I recorded a video. She cut the page with her with her nails. <laughs> oh boy. Uh 
what to say, what not to say. What a madness, what a madness. What a crazy cult. Anyway, now, now, the cat of David Wood is going to cause the following. I'll leave you with this final video. And until I see you tomorrow, God is willing, we're getting our new mic. Look what the cat of David Wood will do. Listen carefully. Oh, that over 100,000 Muslims leave Islam every single year. Our youth are full of doubt. And there is Muslim youth leaving Islam. 24% of Muslim youth are leaving Islam. Your child is about to become apostate. Your child is about to become apostate. In America, this is the last thing, 23% are becoming apostates of Muslims, American-born Muslims. Well, so one of the more shocking things that I have experienced over the course of those years is are the number of young boys and girls aged between 13 to 18 who have openly declared their apostasy to me. Do you know how many Muslims became atheists today? Polls conducted in the Muslim world reveal that up to 5% of Muslims in some of the most conservative Muslim countries in the world are closet atheists. Addressing their parents, their family, and telling them, I don't believe in Allah. I don't believe that Muhammad وسلم, was a messenger of Allah. I don't believe that the Quran is a book of revelation. It is happening. It is happening continuously. It is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have very difficult time standing it will knock us over